Board Games Daddy and today we are going to take a look at For Sale, For Sale, a well-known game. This edition is the national edition, it's called Vents, not For Sale, uh, but it's the same game in an edition from Meepo, originally from Yellow. Uh, you have many versions of this game and with different components, so today you will see a um, recent edition. Trying to find here the year for this. It's the okay. I can't find it, but it's one of the recent ones. So you probably have seen this, but with different artwork. Uh, instead of checks, some bills or paper notes. Uh, so I'll show you this one and I'll tell you how this works for sale. So the the goal of the game is. For you to acquire um, properties in the first part of the game and then sell those on the second part of the game for the highest amount of money in the end of the game who has more money wins the game so the game is super simple when it comes to content it just has two decks of cards and this card doesn't want to come out so there's some shitty taking it out so in terms of cards you have two different decks the first one is the properties and this version has long rectangular cards which are not my favorite especially if you want to use standard sleeves but each of them will have a property and a number and the, the better is the property the higher is the number and the maximum is 30 and the minimum is one so you'll have 30 cards here i'll show you some of them so good house it's high a castle like house is a 23 a tent is very poor so it's just a five something in between a card box house for a bum is a one it's the crappiest card a hut a tent a boat house a very nice castle a wood tent, a skyscraper. So, what's this? A balloon house? No, just a balloon. No, it says hello. So, you live in a balloon, okay. A castle with dragons is a 29. A van, an Indian tent, it's a low number. A regular house, a bat, a bathroom. This is a bathroom, it's a four, so very bad. So the highest card is a space station, it's the 30, right? If you live on the sewer, it's a two, and you go, we go with this logic throughout the rest of the car. So igloo is not one third, above one third, right? A good house, a mine, a chateau, or a palace here. A dog house is a three, one of the crappiest crappy and the tree house okay. so in the game you we put the number of players uh, cards equal to the number of players in the table and then you will use the money here these coins to bet how much to bid how much you want to invest to acquire these cards and then the other player bids higher the other one can bid higher if any of them just say i quit or i don't bid anymore they will take the crappiest and then the second one takes the second crappiest and if you uh, endure until the end you get the best one here so you can then you start saving the cards that you bid and when the whole deck goes in the same way everyone will have the same number of properties some of them will be higher some of them will be lower depends on if you invest it with cleverness and if you uh, manage to use your money wisely you can always keep money for the end of the game that will count as well because then what happens is the second part of the game starts with the uh, um, checks deck so here you see 9,000, 8,000, 15,000 which is the maximum 2,000, 7,000 so you have a wide range from zero some of them will be zero and maximum 15,000 which is zero here Let's see if we can find the zero. Zero. See? Okay. It's even refused. So then what happens is those checks are available for people to acquire. Um, 
your, your properties and then you need to select one from your hand the one that you got before and every every player place its face down and you need to think so it, is there a, a good amount of money there so i'm going to use a high card a, 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 an expensive property to try to get that higher card so everyone reveal at the same time and whoever has them the highest value gets the or chooses first in theory it will get the highest check and then the second player then the third player and then the fourth player and when all the checks are distributed like the properties and um, you count the money that you've acquired and you have your winner the ones that score most if you, if there is a tie between the money in the checks money in the coins whoever has more coins meaning that was able to get the same points as another player but spending less coins in the beginning is definitely the winner okay so let's take a look at the manual as well you have here this is not a, a city building game as this appears to be but you have some examples of the properties that we've seen in the cards here available okay and it's a very thin manual because this is a very simple game okay you see four four pages four four is for sheets and eight pages and it's done very small and the box is almost empty as well so that's for sale this edition i cannot find the date oh there's a 2015 there it is 2015 from yellow cool there must be dozens of versions because this game is also very old but it's still interesting it's still fun it's still very simple to to play in a party game event so i hope you enjoyed that this is for sale and i see you on the next one goodbye